men, women, and children of Sierra Leone, I greet you all on this historic day and I rejoice with you. Sierra Leone today becomes a unified and independent nation to take her place as an equal partner in the Commonwealth of Nations and as an equal entity in the world at large. For this we rejoice, and may your own rejoicing wherever you are be really full of happiness. We must also face up squarely to the problems which will confront us. And I want you all to understand very clearly that the Sierra Leone government in future will depend very greatly upon the active support and assistance of each one of you. The aim will certainly be to make our country a land worth living in, a land worth serving. But this can only be done by wholehearted service and hard work now. I have told you this before, and I call upon you to give the government your active help and support. I ask you to deal fairly and honestly with your fellow men, to discourage lawlessness, and to strive actively for peace, friendship, and unity in our country. Twenty seventh April nineteen sixty one was the date. Our country, Sierra Leone, became independent from the British. On that day, Sir Milton Magai, Fora Bay College and British University educated, was very happy, like everyone else. Not only because he became the first Prime Minister of the country, but because he fulfilled the promise he made to the people. Three years after that, he departed to the year after. Sixty years today and counting, we've added so many pages to our history book on which bittersweet memories are written. We are strong, resilient, and hopeful. Even though sometimes we seem to forget our lessons, but the fact is we have learned them and we shall never repeat the courses. Each Sierra Leonean is kind, loving, and brimful of hope. And to even the poorest among us, the word celebration has a meaning. So whether or not we are truly independent and happy, we shall always find a reason to smile and celebrate. Happy Independence Day, Sierra Leone.